good evening everyone so today good evening sir today i would like to welcome padma shri to present her seminar topic yes so padma shri start with your seminar topic ah uh, sir कैन एवरीबडीपी ओके सर सर आई स्टार्ट आई गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई एम पद्मश्री हार माई सेमिनार टॉपिक इज वॉट आर द डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ फंगल टॉक्सिन्स नाउ नाउ वी डिस्कसड अबाउट द फंगल टॉक्सिन्स फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्शन हिस्टरी एपिडीमियोलॉजी टाइप्स डिटेक्शन ऑफ माइकोटॉक्सिन्स प्रिवेन्शन एंड कंट्रोल देन ट्रीटमेंट नेक्स्ट okay next we coming to the introductions so we see the different types of mycotoxins mycotoxins are low molecular weight secondary metabolites of fungi these metabolites can constitute as toxicogenically and chemically heterogeneous assemblage that are grouped together only because the members can cause the disease and death in human beings and other vertebrates and uh, mycotoxins are an important chronic dietary risk factors they occur more frequently in areas with hot humid climate so it is a uh, important for the climate conditions also in mycotoxins so found in temperature zones this disease produced by mycotoxins are largely called as mycotoxicoses it is called mycotoxicosis anta now heltivi it is disease produced in large next coming to the history of mycotoxins an outbreak of alphotoxic alphotoxicosis was reported in 1974 in adjoining district of gujarat and rajasthan so stachy boti rotoxicosis killed thousand of horses in 1930s in ussr then in 1960s alpha toxicosis alone killed about 1 lakh hen trucks in the uk from 1960 1971 us military sprayed millions liters of toxic herbicides to destroy the vegetation used by the liberation forces for cover and food next coming to the epidemiology so food stored for longer periods give fungi a greater opportunity to contaminate it so uh, first one is one of the important contaminate in fung com- contaminate larger storage of food then uh, seen to be a significant cause of death in developed countries based on the data given by the pit and colleagues was been a number of deaths caused by liver cancers were due to alpha toxins in indonesia so acute fatalities have been reported in india caused by alpha toxin poisoning due to unseasonal rains it is one of the poisoning effect anta helbodu then the various types also we seen the effect produced by fungi and their metabolites are categories in two headings so first one is mycotoxicosis and second one is mycetismus next so mycotoxicosis it is defined as the illness of man or domestic animals due to ingestion of preformed substances on particular food stuffs it means it uh, cause the ingestion of formed substance antane helbodu then it is a particular food 
consumption of these toxins leads to fetal consequence most of the significant fungi producing mycotoxicosis mainly belong to the toxigenic species of genera like aspergillus fusarium and penicillium so out of all the mycotoxins next so productions of mycotoxins depends upon factors like temperature moistures aerations and substrates so already i told introductions uh, it depends on the conditions of the climate so toxic fungal toxins it depends on the temperature moistures aerations and the helbodu most of the reported uh, outbreaks of mycotoxins were found as to be consequence of consumptions of food that is contaminated with mycotoxins so there are four basic types acute chronic mutagenic and teratogenic this is the four basic types next Uh, these are a few medically important mycotoxins which produce the distinctive diseases in man and animals so first one is aflatoxins second one is fumonisins fumonisins and third one is trichothecins and fourth one ocratoxins ocratoxins and fifth one is cyclophysonic acid and geralinone and patulin so this is the uh, seven types next first one aflatoxins it is the secondary metabolite is produced by aspergillus flavus so were discovered as strange manifestations of mysterious diseases called turkey x diseases and shows presence of b1 b2 g1 G G one and G two on the basis of their metabolites. Ah, uh, B means blue and G means green. So fluorescence when in irradiated under the ultraviolet light on thin chromatography plates. They can be modified by the transformations. Example formations of hydrolyzed, hydroxylated derivatives of aflatoxins B one and B two as aflatoxins M one and M two respectively. next so mycotoxins effect on peanut and maize so it is effect on these two next second one fumonisins mycotoxins are toxic and carcinogenic secondary metabolites is, is produced by many species of fusarium so common contaminant of maize and maize based animals feeds throughout the world so we know the it is one of the effect for the maize so next the mycotoxin produced by fungi known as fumonisms means b and these may cause fetal illness in some animals and are expected to the human eosophageal carcinogenic it is a high performance liquid chromatography with fluorescent detections is the most widely used method in in fumonisms next third one is trichothecin so f gramine gramine what gramineum a pathogens of germinious plants respectively wheat is known to produce the trichothecin this effect is the toxins the weight loss vomiting feed refusal dermatics and diarrhea and hormones and epithelium of stomach and intestine and immune in suppressions of lymphoid cells in thymus bone marrow spleen testis and ovary it is the most in infected things and next one this ocratoxin ocratoxins cause the renal toxicity is nephropathy and immunosuppressions in several species and is carcinogenic in experimental animals so no data are available and absorption distributions metabolisms and excretions of ocratoxins in humans also next is cyclo physonic acid the cyclophysonic acid is a toxic indole tetranic acid is derived from tryptophan so produces by the species genus of aspergillus 
it occurs naturally in agricultural products such as groundnuts and corn mostly as coke contaminant with aflatoxins so say aflatoxin also peanut and this is the groundnut next patulin patulin is produced by many different molds but was first isolated as an art and antimicrobial active principle during the 1914 says penicillium patulum a number of early studies were directed towards har harnessing and antibiotic activities patulin was toxic to both plants as well as animals and precluding it is clinical use as an antibiotic during the 1960s patulin was reclassified as a mycotoxin so last one uh, is geralinon so geralinon is an estrogenic toxin and it is also produced by fusarium species so this is found in variety of cereals like maize barley wheat grains etc so in humans it causes the uh, cervical cancer and pre precocious puberty changes in children also so it is mainly varieties is found in maize so some detections and screening of mycotoxins is kelu detections also now nodbodu because many steps are involved in the analysis it is not uncommon that the analytical error i want to 20 to 30% and it to obtain the reliable analytical data and to adapt to sampling program and an accurate analytical methods are both important to minimize the error studies how led to many improved and innovative analytical methods for mycotoxin analysis over the years and now more sensitive uh, sir i have some doubt also tlc hp and this is technique use are now also available to detections and screening of mycotoxin and and elisa so it is also seen the um, one of the method and ria then spectrophotometer tissue sculptures so primary fetal bovin bovin kidney cells and never techniques have been used which include the patterns of iso enzymes electrophoresis dna and dna homology restrictions fragments length polymorphisms these are all the detection screening of mycotoxins and some uh, preventive measures also we see in the management of mycotoxins contaminations the economic uh, implications of the mycotoxins problems and it is potential health treat to humans have clearly created to need to climate or at least minimize mycotoxin contaminated food and feed well also association between the mycotoxin contaminations and in acute storage conditions has long been recognized so these are studies reveals and seeds to contaminated with mycotoxins prior to harvest therefore this is the management of mycotoxins preventive measures next in last coming to the treatment so how we treat the fungal toxins to produce some found in these types the main treatment is vigorous intravenous fluids replacement and corrections of electrolyte disturbances and coagulopathy and hemodialysis and hemoperfusions may be effective in removing toxins in initiated within 24 hours of intake so we take the 24 hours is initiated then atropine is useful in mice mice involving pns in muscarine poisoning then corticosteroids may prove useful and such patients should be given trials so this is the treatment to have the mycotoxins so thank you So the topic is open for discussion. If there is, if there is no doubt, then I request the other presenter to be ready. Thank you, Padmasri. It was a nice presentation. It was very informative. Thank you, sir. So you have any doubt? Please <laughs> ask me.
Hey Lama, it was nice present. Uh, presentation was very nice. I request. Thank you, sir. The next presenter to be ready. Yes, sir. I'll be doing now.